guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been four stinking ever since I sat down in front of my camera and it honestly has because I pre-filmed quite a few of my videos that you've seen. July has been ridiculous, but you'll hear more about that later. Just know that I've really been wanting to get in front of the camera and I've really been wanting to do all these things. I really, really, truly have motivation is kind of hard to find so like currently it's like hold on um 8 15 where i am on a thursday i should have like had already edited my video by now but i'm literally just now sitting down to film it so please forgive my craziness my absence a bit on instagram recently and my reviews and my blogs and here on YouTube it's just it's been crazy but anyways today I'm going to be talking about five authors of books on my bookshelf that I have not picked up yet now this isn't just books that I haven't picked up yet but authors as a whole that I haven't picked up yet um, and like read one of their books and I have multiple, multiple books that I could have chosen for this. Again, I always do. But I kind of wanted to talk about some different people. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right in and show you the books that I really, really need to get to. Story of my life. All of these authors will probably come as a little bit of a shock to at least one person or another. But this one will probably come as a shock to a majority of Christian fiction readers. I have a couple of those, but anyways. Uh, the first one is Tamara Alexander. I have not finished one of her books ever. And I have two of her series, like complete series. Um, and I just still haven't gotten to them. They totally seem like something I would enjoy. So that's not what's stopping it. I think what's stopping me really is just the pure length of her books they're all massive and I started one of like her first works and I just really wasn't caring for it so it could have just been timing because this was years ago but I really do want to start reading one of her books at some point but yeah I know it's crazy that I haven't read anything by her yet but her books are massive and her font is so small like I'm gonna read it's just again it's a time commitment I feel a life commitment honestly to read her books but they are on my lifelong TBR at some point the next author is actually gonna be a little bit of a conjoinment of two but I'm really gonna focus on this one author and that is Rochelle Decker I I do have the full series of this, which is the Seer novel series or something like that. I have the complete series now. And again, I feel like it's going to be like a life commitment for me to read this series. One, the size, they're a little big. And two, just that they're dystopian. I feel like she's going to write with a lot of like world building. And you're just really going to get invested in these characters. And right now, ain't nobody got time for that. At all. So it's going to, like, I'll have to schedule it into my life to read the series, but I definitely do want to do it. Um, I said that this would double up as Ted Decker. I haven't read any of his single works. I've only read House, which was a collab with Frank Preddy, so I haven't read his books, but I also don't have them on my shelves, so I couldn't really pull it. But the Decker father-daughter duo, I haven't read anything by them alone yet. I feel like I'm really slacking in the Christian fiction world. <gasps> Next author that I've never read anything by is Michelle Grape? 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 It's not... I think it's Grape. I'm gonna go with that. I could be totally wrong and please forgive me if I'm saying that wrong. Um. But she has quite a few books out, and I have not read any of them. And this is the only book I have by her that is on my shelves currently. But it looked really interesting, and her writing looks really interesting. She has a bunch of stories that look really good. 
I just one haven't gotten them physically and two just haven't gotten the time to read them so she's another one that I haven't read yet are we surprised the next author that I'm going to talk about doesn't really come as a shock to me personally but it might to some people it's just because I'm just starting to get into this uh, genre again this year and that is anything by Rondi Kendig I haven't read her canine series that she did I haven't read any of her army stuff she's got a ton of books but I haven't read any of them because I'm just now getting back into suspense action-packed books this year than I ever did before just because I got burned out and I couldn't really find anything that really intrigued me but the talks files definitely do and book three comes out this month or not this month no in August and I really would love to rectify the fact that I have not read anything by this author. I've heard amazing things about her. Just again, time. We need more of it, Lord. I need more than 24 hours in a day. I need 24 reading hours, and then I just need the rest day-to-day -day hours. You can give me a couple of those, too, but more hours would be great. The last author that I'm going to talk about today is Catherine Ray, and she writes retelling type things. Um, and yeah, I have quite a few of her books on my bookshelf and have still not read any of them. Her covers are beautiful though, and I really do want to read her books. It's not that I don't want to read these authors' books, I just really need to read these authors' books. But, yeah, she's another one that I just really need to read. So, today I gave you a little glimpse of the fact that I am a total slacker when it comes to Christian fiction reading and reading new authors. But I am getting better, I promise. I am trying my absolute hardest. I'm getting better. That's all I can say. I really do want to get to these authors, and I will at some point. I know I will. It's just... Ooh, I need more hours in a day. If you've read any books by these authors, I would love, love, love to know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And what's one author that you have not read a book by, but it is definitely on your TBR? I would love to know in the comment section below. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's a little different. It's a little shorter, but I really enjoyed looking at my shelves and pulling out books. Just a couple from authors that I haven't read before but definitely are on my lifetime TBR at some point. You can follow my blog for the love of Christian fiction .com, and you can also check out my Instagram which is for the love of Christian fiction and I'm on both of them pretty regularly um, most of the time. Again July has been a little rough but I am back and I'm hoping August gets us back into full swing but we will talk about that later. I think that's it today. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!